everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Day Nation podcast. This is going to be a podcast. Welcome everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you joined the ride. This is my podcast. Glad you joined my podcast. Every single day, I'm going to throw out a podcast for you guys to listen. I, I got some new stories to tell you guys. I got some new stories to tell you guys. This lockdown has got everybody bugged. Everybody bugged. Including, guess what? Drew Barrymore. Can you believe this? The actor, Drew Barrymore. I, I just saw a video about it and two days ago. She's crying every single day during the lockdown. Uh, this is crazy, p- people. This is crazy. Drew Barrymore is crying every single day. That's nuts. That's, that's Hollywood, people. That is true Hollywood. Uh, Barrymore, which a lot of people don't know, Barrymore used to be in the movie E.T., extraterrestrial uh, film. When she was a little wee kid, about, I don't know, five or six years old. But anyway, that being said, Drew Barrymore, with all actors around the world, Drew Barrymore is crying every single day due to lockdown. I saw a video about it. She, they, got a, they had a photo of her crying about it. I can't believe it. I can't believe Drew Barrymore, an actor, she has kids, all right. We do know she has kids, right? But, yeah, she's crying every single day. She's an actor. Many, many films since the early 80s. Many, many films. You want to mention this? Well, I just thought about her name. Popped up in my brain for some strange reason. Funny me, eh? (laughs) Funny me. We can all laugh about this. Anyway, yes, Drew Barrymore. uh, I followed her career quite closely from the early 80s onward. Um, her, all of her films, not all, all the films, but right up to the early 80s, up to the early 90s. And that's pretty much it, folks. But yeah, Drew Barrymore, for all people around the world, all Hollywood people out there, who've been in big major films, Drew Barrymore at the moment is crying. It says right there over there, I don't know if you can see it. Drew Barrymore cries every day during the lockdown. During the lockdown. Can you believe this? An actor, Drew Barrymore. I... This one guy really sums it up in the video. I mean, she's she's supposed to be, uh, you know, all Hollywood, right? There's a lot of, uh, there's like, uh, there's like, <laughs> it's like uh, Britney Spears. Remember Britney Spears? She's a big woman now at the moment. Yeah, uh, Britney Spears. Remember that girl, Britney Spears? Oh, yes, that girl, Britney Spears. Yes, anyway, we're not talking about Britney Spears at the moment. Drew Barrymore, it says here in the titling, Drew Barrymore cries every uh, every day during the lockdown. Can you believe this? She's like she's part of the uh, part of the system. She's part of the damn system. <laughs> did I did I say more? She's part of the flipping government system. <laughs> anyway, these Hollywood people, I don't get, it, I don't get, it. folks. I'm not ranting. I'm just saying Drew Barrymore, the actor Drew Barrymore, this young woman, cries. Every single day during the lockdown. It's not really a lockdown. It's whatever that the uh, Donald Trump and those people in Washington D.C. say. Um, it's all about the lockdown. It's all about coronavirus nineteen. Yes, we get that all. We get that all. And this, you know, social distancing thing. Give me a break, folks. Drew Barrymore, everybody. Drew Barrymore. Did I say more? Drew Barrymore, who was an actor in a lot of films, I don't know, long list of them, all the way back to the early 80s and 70s. Drew Barrymore, folks. Drew Barrymore. This is a sad reality. These Hollywood people think they're invisible, as the old saying goes. They're, they think they're invisible. They thought they're all Hollywood, invisible. No one could touch them. But no. Connivars came in and said, no. We're going to stop everything, everything in the entire world. Stop everything. There's no, there's no stores open. There's no banks being open. There's no business to be done. I mean, that's crazy. We live in a free society. And the whole thing I've been saying for lately, and I'm not crying about it or whining about it, we live in a democracy world. We live in a democracy world. Uh, Drew Barrymore, I don't know how she is now, but there's a video out there saying that she's crying during a lockdown. This young woman, who's Drew Barrymore, can you believe this? Can you believe this, folks? 
I, I'm stunned. I'm very much stunned. I don't know if I'm ranting or telling these people. I'm just seeing. I just saw. I just all of a sudden my, uh, her name popped up my brain for some strange reason. I don't know if I'm getting typographically, as they say, but it just popped in my brain and said, "Let's just think about Drew Barrymore, that girl, that young lady who was in all the films up till the early '80s." And yeah, I followed her career quite closely since the early '80s and '90s. But yeah, Drew Barrymore, I just thought my brain just, it's like a light bulb in my brain. A big, huge light bulb in my brain. Uh, yeah, Drew Barrymore is crying every single day because of lockdown because of her children being home. Her own children being home, for that matter. And she's crying about it. There's a photo up there. She's crying about it. I mean, this is pathetic. This is pathetic. Oops. Anyway, I'll put that in a big title for you guys. Drew Barrymore is crazy enough. She's uh, she's all been on a lot of films, a lot of TV shows. Now she's crying about the lockdown. God, can you believe this? Can you believe this? Anyway, folks, see you all next time on Dave Nation's show, podcast. Drew Barrymore, everybody. Drew Barrymore. She's a all Hollywood. But now she's crying about the lockdown. Oh, the lockdown. The lockdown, everybody. The lockdown. Drew Barrymore, the actor, Drew Barrymore. Her family, her family is legendary. And I can, folks, her family is legendary. Did I say more? Anyway, folks, we are going to say goodbye to that. Drew Barrymore, just keep strong. Just say, do a hashtag saying, Drew Barrymore, stay strong. Let's do a hashtag right there. Drew Barrymore, stay strong. Hashtag Drew Barrymore stay strong. That's all I gotta say. Terrible, terrible as that it seems. There's a video typing their name, Drew Barrymore. There's a video there saying that she's crying every day during lockdown. An actor. I don't know how she is. I don't know how, how old she is in terms of age. But yeah, she's a big woman these days. Big woman. Drew Barrymore, folks. She's crying about by the lockdown. Like all of us. Anyway. Like I said, folks, Drew Barrymore, the actor, was in the first goddamn Steven Spielberg E.T. Now she's crying about it years and years later. About a lockdown. We're all in lockdown, Drew Barrymore. We're all in lockdown. Every, everybody in the whole world is on lockdown of some sort of th a situation. It's crazy, crazy. I, don't blame me. Blame the people at Washington, D.C. They're the people who put this, the city, the states, the cities, all did a lockdown. Don't blame me. Blame the people in Washington, D.C. Blame the people in Capitol Hill if you want. They won't put this, uh, us people on lockdown and quarantine. And quarantine. Should I say quarantine? <laughs> yeah, this is the people that you, uh, you really put into the White House. These are people who are elected officials into White House that do all of this crap. You get uh, you get Andrew Cuomo, Andrew Cuomo, the uh, the governor of New York City, uh, saying he goes in great detail in about the way the world should work, the way the world should work. Andrew Cuomo, that meant. Yeah, can you believe this, Andrew Cuomo? Anyway, folks. Drew Barrymore, in this day and age, in year 2020, is crying about the lockdown. Yeah, how crazy is that may seem? Too crazy, folks. Too crazy. Anyway, I'm going to end this out. And I just, her name, her name just popped in my brain. I don't know if it's synchronicity. But yeah, Drew Barrymore, who's an actor, I followed her career closely enough. Um, one of my um, cousins did like her a bit. Just like her, not love her, but like her. Love is a strong word, people. Love is a strong word, unless you like the person. I like the person. I like Drew Barrymore. I'm saying to myself, I like her. I don't love her. I like her. Okay? That's what I'm going with, folks. You can take that to the bank. Oh, well. Anyway, folks. I'll see you on the next podcast. 